Hi everybody, welcome to another video from Lestat's Gaming Live and uh, today I'm going to do uh, something a little different. I am going to uh, show you uh, some benchmarks of the new RAM I got from my gaming machine today. Um, well, we are already looking at the old RAM that I had. It's this uh, Corsair uh, triple channel because I have a triple channel motherboard because when I bought this computer that was all the new uh, rage. Uh, when I bought the computer, no, when I bought the components for the computer, it was the new rage. Um, everybody thought that triple channel was the way to go and um, well apparently it wasn't but this is what I have uh, and this is the RAM that I had until now. This photograph is not mine, I got it from Corsair's website. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's no proce processor here. Um, and uh, I didn't take photographs of mine because they always come out um, dark and, uh, well, full of dust. Not as pretty as this is. And um, I only had um, 6 gigabytes of RAM, as you can see here, uh, on this column called Control. I have my uh, old specs, uh, so you can see it's uh, three sticks of two uh, gigs each. Um, let's enlarge this so you can see the timings. Uh, what this sticks add of uh, great is the timings, as you can see here, uh, low timings when compared to what I got next. Um, so I wanted to test because of the different timings. I wanted to see if there was uh, any real difference uh, when tested because, well, it's hard to even understand what these timings are all about. So is there any real difference? Um, can you notice something uh, when you use the computer? Um, that's really hard to access, but you can try to run some benchmarks and see if the results show any difference. So I decided to use both um, this program, the, its uh, performance test by Pestmark, and I also used, uh, let's just see the new sticks that I got, they look pretty cool, um, and this time he's 12 gigs and these are hard to come by because of course nobody uses triple channel anymore and so finding uh, triple channel uh, packs is uh, not easy um, as you can see these were manufactured in 2012 so uh, nobody makes this anymore Okay, so what I was saying is that I used both this program and a program specific for testing RAM. And what that program showed me, and the name is MaxMem, uh, what that program showed me is that, yes, there is a difference. On the left here, I have my old RAM, so 6 gigs, um, and you can see a clear difference on the um, speeds memory copy, memory read and memory write are both uh, better on this side than on this side and the latency is also lower on the um, old sticks than it is on the new one and latency of course you have you want the lowest score possible so this one is better than this one and um, that means that on the pure uh, memory side of the uh, of the test, yes, of course the uh, old ones were faster, uh, and so the results are better. But what I really wanted to see is that um, okay, the memory is slower, but uh, is there any any change uh, on things that are not uh, just memory tests? So I went to this and uh, perform the test on both uh, the the old RAM and the new RAM and um, 
Pestmark tests uh, a lot of things, uh, CPU, 2D graphics, 3D gra graphics, memory, and uh, disks. Um, here I'm seeing the summary. So on CPU, with the old RAM, I got the better results. On 2D graphics, I got a better result with the old RAM. And on 3D graphics, I got a better result with the old RAM. Although uh, on the 3D graphics, it's a um, really, really tight result. And uh, bear in mind that even though there is a difference, on all the rankings the difference is very very small as you can see here by the graphics the the difference is always always tiny um, except here on the memory mark but this is uh, better for the test the test is the uh, new RAM just because as you can see here um, the amount of available memory is uh, taken into account so of course I have much more available memory now than I had when I did the control test so this uh, kind of skews the result of the memory mark global score uh, but uh, as you can see the individual tests of uh, memory all uh, are leaning toward the control being faster as you can see, latency, of course, is uh, shorter latency on the control. And um, here, much better result. So, 3D graphics is the most important part uh, for gaming, of course. And uh, as you can see, there's not much difference here. Um, on DirectX 11 I got a better result and really really marginally better result with uh, the new RAM on uh, direct compute also a very very marginal uh, advantage and uh, on DirectX 10 and on DirectX 9 I got a marginally worse result um, with the new RAM so there's not much difference here uh, which is good it means that I'm go not going to lose uh, anything by adding um, more RAM to my computer on the CPU part of things there are some um, results that show a little more difference and uh, it's these two here CPU prime numbers show a much better result with the old RAM than with the new and uh, also here the CPU physics test uh, it shows a better result with control than with does with test 1 which is my new RAM um, overall though I don't think the change is um, very uh, important it's important for me because um, video editing takes a lot of RAM and I really need the uh, extra 6 gigs that I got. Uh, in terms of performance I don't think I will lose um, much as these tests show um, but anyway I will if my opinion changes uh, I will make an update to, um, to this review. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and uh, if you want more details about this uh, test uh, don't forget to visit the website because I have the um, results posted there also. Thank you guys, bye!